gonna do a quick video here. Um, actually, it probably won't be a quick video because I'm gonna show you my gear that I use for specifically IDPA. This can go for other uh, shooting sports like USPSA and stuff like that. Um, but we're gonna focus on the IDPA uh, in this video. So what I use gear-wise, and what I mean by gear-wise, I'm not talking uh, holsters, uh, pistols, uh, modifications to the pistol, um, or anything like that. Um, just going to show you pretty much what I wear um, that I think might give me an advantage in a certain way, um, if you want to call it that. Um, and that is uh, the shoes you wear. Now, we're going to start off with the shoes, but and I shoot in South Florida, um, a lot of rain, a lot of rainy weather, and the, the shoots do take place still in the rain sometimes. As long as there's no lightning, you know, and it's just raining, you're out there shooting. So uh, I've shot in plenty of places where it's it's very muddy, very muddy out, uh, wet grass. Um, of course, you have to run here and there or move fast in certain situations. And if you have a regular uh, basketball shoe or just a regular sneaker, an old sneaker on, um, you might you might slip or fall or you know, and you don't want to fall or slip with a loaded gun. Um, so, in IDPA, unfortunately, and I think it's kind of a, a weird rule, but they don't allow you to wear cleats. Um, anything that's considered a cleat is a no go. So, I got the next best thing. And these are Adidas, um, right down here, I'll show you the exact model. They're uh, Pacific ones here. Vigor Trail 2. Okay, these are um, trail hiking shoes. And uh, there's a, you know, all the, all the major shoe companies they do make a trail hiking shoe and some, you know, Nike has one, uh, Reebok has some. Um, there's a lot of good ones out there. These are in the $60 range you can find these for. Just want to show you the bottom of the shoe. See how you have uh, all that type of traction. And these are not considered cleats. These are considered a trail hiking shoe, making them legal to use. Okay, this also has this uh, flap on the back of the shoe, but you can see that you're going to get plenty of traction on the ground to help avoid the slips or any falls. And they're also good, um, that way you can feel confident in running fast to the next point where you're either required to shoot or depending on that stage, you can run fast not worrying about, you know, am I going to slip here because it's slippery grass. So you can. You could probably pick up the pace a little bit with shoes like that. So these are Adidas. Um, I think they're, you know, fairly good looking shoe as well for sixty dollars. There's some out there that uh, uh, that can reach up to about a hundred, a hundred to two hundred dollars. But I went with these uh, affordable, uh, good looking, great traction. Um, that's what I use for IDPA. All right, onto the onto the pants and uh, and the belt. I'll knock these both out in one shot. But what I prefer to use, there's a lot of good ones, a lot of great companies out there. Um, these are by a company called uh, Vertex. Um, I picked these up in a variety of different colors. These are made out of 90, 98% cotton. Um, um, downfall, are, you know, some people, uh, they're made in Indonesia, um, which could be, you know, I like to buy stuff in the USA, but these pants are very good. Um, very lightweight, uh, 511 Tactical. They make a, a shorts called Tac Light Pro Shorts or Tac Light Shorts. Very similar, um, USA company, uh, 511. Um, but the, these are just as good quality. I have both pairs. Uh, I do recommend 511 or the Vertex. Um, these happen to be shorts. Um, like I said, shooting here in South Florida, it's very hot out there, or it's rainy or it's hot, so, or it's both. So. Um, I use these uh, lightweight, um, multiple pockets have uh, hidden, hidden, some hidden pockets here. There's a zipper in the inside right over here. You got two pockets, cargo uh, pockets. You got two pockets on the back here. All right. Um, 
very durable, like I said, very lightweight. They can take a beating, um, like waterproof, waterproof, you know, if you are raining, uh, water like bounces right off of these. I mean, unless, unless it's raining extremely hard, of course you're gonna still get soaked, but they do a great job in that department as well. And onto the belt, uh, this is a 511. It's a 511 uh, TD, uh, TDU belt. Uh, this is a black one, this is a nylon belt. Um, just thickness is, is, is pretty good. Um, this one, this, there's a model number on this one. Okay, but I like using nylon belts um, from 511, uh, from 511 Tactical. There's other companies that make them as well. Just a light, you know, it's a very extremely lightweight belt, um, lightweight shorts. You want to remain lightweight um, out there, uh, quick, and you want to be comfortable, and that's what these will be for you. All right, now on to the shirt. Um, no real advantage here. Um, this is just purely what I wear. It's, you know, it's, I am on a shooting team, as you, as some of you guys may know, Team Fighter Flight Tactical. Um, we have some great sponsors, so I do use this um, when I'm doing shooting, whether it's IDPA or other divisions or other sports, shooting sports. Um, this one is made by a company called uh, Sport Tech. Okay, size large, made in the Vietnam. Okay. Um, just a very thin material, um, very comfortable material, uh, also very lightweight, nothing big, bulky, heavy, um, fits great. Um, I, cotton t-shirts are fine. I mean, just use the, what you feel the most comfortable in when you're out there shooting. So. Okay, on the headgear. Um, I use a baseball cap. Um, I do recommend you do do so. Um, just protect your head from the sun or the or the weather. Um, also, if there's any, uh, I do shoot a lot of steel as well. And sometimes some of those uh, uh, bullet fragments will uh, will fly off from the steel. Um, nothing that's going to critically injure you unless they hit you in the eye. But um, that's why you have ear uh, eye protection. We'll go over that. But just, you know, if anything falls down on you, you know, you have a, a cap helps protect you in a certain way in a variety of ways. So the one that I use, I mean, no real advantage here. Uh, I just use a, five, a 511 uh, standard baseball cap. Um, on to uh, eyewear, which can be important. Um, these are Oakley, Oakley M frames. These are the Oakley M frame 2.0s. Um, they do have a... Uh, I won't know if you guys can see that there. Made in the USA. M frame 2.0. Okay, these are polarized. Um, also, uh, um, these are military issued. Um, I don't know if they're still uh, issuing these to our, our soldiers out there, but uh, the soldiers do get these issued to them when they're out. So um, very comfortable glasses, uh, comes with a rubber, rubber nose piece here that's flexible. Okay, these are, like I said, polarized. They are very lightweight. Um, also the lenses are ballistic proof. Um, not sure of the exact ballistic standards, but they do have plenty of videos of these um, on the Oakley website, on YouTube, um, where they're uh, taking some 12 gauge, they're shooting with a 12 gauge double out bug pellets and bird shot. And uh, those do not penetrate through the lenses. Um, also, if someone was to try to uh, hit you with a blunt, blunt object, um, it also, these will protect your eyes. They will not, they will not crack and break. They hold strong. And that's why our military uses them. So, and I, I and, and the sun, you see, you see, very clear with these, and these are my preferred uh, eye protection. Um, of course, uh, there's plenty of good ones out there. Um, I choose to use, uh, I know a lot of people don't like to use um, 
earmuffs when they, they shoot. I'm already used to them. I've been shooting these. These are my actually my first pair of that I've ever gotten, and they're still running on the same battery after uh, years. Um, I'm about to change those batteries out shortly. But these are a, a very budget and affordable pair. These are by a company called Codwell, uh, and these are uh, electronic earmuffs. Um, not the most comfortable in the world, but they, they're not bothersome neither. Um, they do do the job extremely well. They do run on uh, two, AA, uh, two AAA batteries. Um, turn it on, I have uh, volume, certain volume settings. It will turn red when it's on. You can adjust the volume. Um, it works extremely well. That way you don't have to take off your ear protection and uh, to listen to an RO or safety officer or your buddy talking to you. Um, you can just leave them on. Okay, and these are the low profile ones. They do make uh, a bigger one. I don't know why you want those. Those look kind of funny. They're too big. But these are low profile. Uh, I think these are like $29, 30, 30 something dollar range. Uh, great ear protection. So that's kind of uh, uh, head to toe on just what I wear during my shoots. Um, like I said, plenty of good options out there. It's just what I use, my personal opinion. Um, you guys might have your own, and you guys can leave those in the comments below. I'd love to hear if there's a piece of gear that you think I'm missing or a piece of gear that I can, that's better and will give me an advantage, and you guys can suggest that to me. That's great. Um, be all, uh, I'll be there to answer all the comments. Um, please subscribe to the channel for more uh, shooting and competition videos and, and general videos on pistols, knives, um, and outdoor stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm out.